believer that if you're visiting an organic farm and they can't show you a compost pile, uh, get on your donkey and move down the road. It's not organic. You've got to have a compost pile and it's just real simple. You throw everything you can't eat into the pile, give it enough water, and what you've got is really dark soil. Some people characterize it as garden gold, and I mulched every plant that I put in the ground with compost. Every time I water, that plant gets fertilized, and it's one of the reasons last year I grew 17-pound cabbages. It's pretty much unheard of this side of Alaska. So it's nutrition, nutrition, and nutrition. And they're real simple. You just put all of the excess, including weeds, anything out of the kitchen, and water it, turn it. This pile's been here, got 15 years probably, and I've got two more just like it. And it just really helps plant grow. And if you grow a healthy plant, the plant is producing protein. Insects don't eat protein. And I have very, very few needs to even use uh, soapy water to kill aphids. Aphids go next door. Start with uh, fresh food, because about 90% of human illnesses are traced to diet and lifestyle. Go to the doctor, they've studied nothing about nutrition, but they'll sure put you on drugs real quick. And all drugs are liver toxic, and every chemotherapy drug causes the cancer. It's meant to heal. We're kind of in a box. And composting is nothing new. It's been around. There was composting before there were humans. The trees would lose their leaves, fall over, and create about an inch of soil every 500 years. We're going through topsoil in this country to the point that the food's going to have no nutrition unless it's organic. Mm -hmm.